Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 49 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm here with Soren and Fireball and probably a couple other people. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Good. Um, I am pretty much have the Uber node that I want for our, our system here, Soren. Oh? Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't mind a little bit more air and a little bit more Perdito in it, so I'm just going to take a quick look around the deep dark, see if I can't find one more node that would just make me feel a little bit better about the situation I'm in. Vashta Narada, my favorite. Hmm. And then if I can just get that node a little bit closer to 20. 20 I have found to be kind of, I think, maybe it's 25 that I want to be the magic number. Um, I feel like I've probably looked around the world a little bit here so far. I think the way it works is once you switch the aura node to be like the recharging kind, it... User joined your channel. Ooh, that's Earth, Perdito, and Air. That's really pretty good. I want this one. Just want to look at what this other one is. I think it divides by five, and then that's the rate. I think. This is just a lot of air. That's kind of cool. Um... This was a pretty good one. I just want to see what this is. Just want to check these two because there happens to be a couple here. Air and Earth, not too good. Creeper in the face. Flame Creeper Soren. in the face. Yeah, well, you know. What are you doing? There we go. That should be coming back your way now. Cool. All right, heading back to the base, Soren. So what are we working on today, boss? Uh, I was working on making my color applicator always have 128 of each paintball. I don't know what you're doing. I see. Is that for your AE system of shenaniganiness? Pretty much. I, I don't know of an easy way to do this, so I'm just trying to make a, a complicated way of doing it. Well, what are you trying to accomplish in the end? The color applicator can hold 17 different items, 16 of each color, or 16 colors, and then snowballs. I'm trying to make sure it has 128 of each, and then probably about 64 snowballs. I don't understand. Ah, uh, take this for a second. Okay. Now, okay, it's like a cell. It can only hold so much, and in order to see what's inside it, you have to put it into a drive or an ME chest. Okay. I can't put it in the cell workbench? I, I can. can, but you won't see what's in it. You'll see what's configured to. Oh. All right. Do you have a drive? Or a... even better, put it in the side and then look at the top. Sweet. All right. So you're trying to keep this thing filled with specifically 128 of each kind and then 64 snowballs. Okay. Uh, couldn't you do that with uh, what do I call it? Translocators. I tried that. But I can only keep nine of those. And since I only have one face open to me with this, I can only put items into the top of this. Oh, you could probably so, do it with Steve's factory manager. Yeah, I started doing that, and my stream was like, you're doing this wrong! And I actually agreed. Do it you have... would probably get was, a little tedious, but... There was probably a trans vector or something. They were saying... I think it was the... Thamic Explorer? I don't know. It was some kind of block that you could place and access more of that side. Uh, yes, you could do that if you wanted. I didn't know how to make that, though. I can make that for you. I have to really? research it, though, I think. Let's see. Thalmic Tinker Transvector Interface. Yeah, I can make one of those, actually, pretty easily. Okay. That um, actually might make my life a lot easier. <laughs> cool. Uh, four Arcane Stone Block, Ender Pearl, Lapis, and Redstone. Ender Pearl... Redstone, Lapis, that should do that and that, and then I want, you're also going to need the Transvector Binder Doohickey, which is just going to be an Order Shard, stick and two iron. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, let me know when you're ready to test this, sir. Wait, you already have it? Uh, pretty much already have it. Goodness. Hello, T-Love. Insufficient V. Hey. There we go. Hey, T-Love. Very enthusiastic. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where you at, Soren? Uh, over by our system using. I think that's all I need, right? Do I need two of these transvector interfaces? Well, how does it work? Does it extend it, or does it link it to a different space somewhere else it'll link it to a different space okay you could also throw a hopper on top of it and that would work too right there it goes kind of well now that wouldn't work because yeah you wouldn't be able to see what's inside the block So let's try it. Where is your thing that you want to link to? Is it this one? No, that's the security system. Right. Yeah, it's, I'm about to place it down. OK. So put your thing in there. Um... OK. And then put this block somewhere, wherever you want to pipe into for now. OK. Um, and then binding set. All right, that should work. You might need to pipe into the top of that block, but yep. I guess we'll see. Oh, into the top of this block? We'll see. Why don't you try it okay. without... Well, that'll at least still give me two spaces, so that'll be fine. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> see if it works. If it doesn't, then... Is it working? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. So try the top of that block, then. I think it just replicates the tile entity's okay. sidedness, so you'll probably okay. have to... You'll probably need to have only into the top of those, but you can have multiple of those, I think. Oh, I need one. I mean, I need 18 items, or 17 items, so two sets would be perfect. Okay. Then this should work. Yeah, it just crashed to desktop. Nice. It's working. Okay. You have 110 in there now? Yeah, I'll put a regulator nugget. Nice. There. Awesome. Thank you. You are most welcome, my good sir. Wow, that was much simpler than what it was going to be. <laughs> Soren. <laughs> so I guess you'll just have another on top of the actual block, and then you'll be good to go. Yep. Neat. OK, well, that's one project down. One else. So then you can just always pull out your color applicator and you'll have all the colors you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, so is that the way you have to color cables now? Yeah, I think. I'm guessing you can still like craft them as the right color, but you can change it with that now. Yeah, basically I can just do it on the fly. That's cool. I like that. My nodes are zapping each other to awesomeness. <laughs> I really wanted this node thing to be ready for the start of this episode, but I decided I wanted more power. More power! <laughs> I couldn't help it. I wanted more power. I think that book is yours, Soren. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Now that I've solved all of Soren's problems for today, <laughs> I'm sure he'll come up with a new one for me shortly. I'm going to wait oh, for man. this node to, uh, you know, eat up its neighbor, and then I don't care. At that point, I'm just going to start poking it into this system here. And then, you know what, in the meantime, off camera, I'm gonna craft the thing that I need for the stuff. Yeah, the V charging relay. I just need two great wood rods and a V relay. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Back in a minute. Make sure it went. Should, should I be recording this fireball? No, I, I turned it off so we wouldn't do it just um, without oh, my, <laughs> client, my client just crashed, so. Oh. <laughs> Why, can I, can I ask a question, fireball? Yeah, sure. Why is there a line of redstone running to your base? You don't want uh, to know. Fun you times? Should, what kind of fun times? Pull the lever. I'll put and, redstone back. I'm oh, not pulling any. I, I learned long ago <laughs> to never pull any lever that Soren tells me to pull. I pulled it. So, as, as you know, Dyer, Soren and I may have duped a few things. And. Just a few? 
Just a few. Uh, like, it, you may want to look at the building real quick. It's kind of prolonged it to uh, end game for me. So I uh, decided to restart, basically. And the easiest way to do that would be to build a nuke and blow up everything that I had. All my armor's in there, everything. So, um, yeah, I have no idea how big it is. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Well, it should yeah, it, uh, yeah, yeah, you so. you set up your nuke wrong. You definitely did. <laughs> Look at this. You just made a mess of what you made. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you just made a mess. Oh. Your network's still oh. here. Ah, oh. oh. no. I I need to see this. Oh, yep. Get. I don't want. Yeah, that. like I don't know what you did, but whatever you did, <laughs> you did it wrong. It was wrong. Well, I didn't want to like. I didn't want to like blow it up. You didn't even like, get your base. You just your got base. Your, your center. <laughs> Great. You That's what you guys get there. for having uh, the magnet mode on. Uh, yeah, I'm actually getting free items. Oh hey, here's the uranium. <laughs> you don't want it. No, I don't. You're right. <laughs> oh please tell me if I die to that, that's gonna be stupid. <laughs> hey Soren. So that was the idea. Go. Yeah. C come over to the the twilight heads. For a moment. I'm busy the... watching Fireball die from the uranium. I just Ooh. put it into his inventory. My aura note's <sighs> almost drained, and then I can insert into the thing. All right. I only recorded because I expected a giant explosion, but apparently Fireball fails at nukes. He's not. Yeah. Good. Yes. Nice. I got him right here. I, I have something for you. All right, guys. We'll be back in a minute once uh, somebody <laughs> figures out how to set up a nuke in Fireball's base, because apparently he wants to nuke his own base. All right, guys, we're back, and Rorax has joined us, and I'm going to shut down this aura node. You. Oh. So let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when you disable uh, this transducer thing. From what I read, it zeroes out the aspect, so there's a chance that it'll like lose one of the aspect types. It's not like guaranteed, but it's possible. So. So let's see, it's six Ordo and seven Terra. So what do we get? Oh, it's zeroed out again, I forgot. So oh, well, thank you. Oh my gosh! Oh, dude. goodness, it's so hot! What's dude! Sorry, my bad. What's happening? Uh, He's uh, burning fire. down my house! Fire! Lots of fire! <laughs> That's like, literally. Ideal. That's apparently upstairs that I didn't even see you spread. Oh. I will be back with Oak. Mm. Oh, by the way, we had some bugs on the server, so oh. I had to clear Fireball's inventory. <laughs> yeah. I just opened chat, and I'm wondering if uh, YouTube noticed that I had cleared Fireball's inventory. If you have problems with fire, then use uh, great wood, great wood planks, if that's possible. That's a lot of great wood planks for him. All right, guys, I'm going to set up this thing. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, that's... let's move it. So this... I guess I'll just telepose somewhere for now. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Time to mass produce candles for stabilization and decoration. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Put that on the where the cobblestone is for me. Did you get it? Where it was? Or where? Yeah. Um, did you get a teleposer? Or... It's inside the. Okay, good thing. By the way, if you ever want quadruple compressed cobblestone, I'm approaching my sixth stack. <laughs> Might come for some of that. Okay. Right, so someone in my chat says I strike twice. Node stabilizer, this guy. Dun 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 dun. Node stabilizers, I kind of feel, are like one of the coolest, like, models that I've seen in a long time. Also, I just really like the oh, little yeah. force field it puts around the node. Like, that is so cool looking. Mm -hmm. Alright, here goes. This should be a pretty uber node. Do me a favor, Soren, and never remove this redstone signal. Okay. Why not just use a redstone block? But okay. Because I don't trust you. Very, very bad things will happen. You don't want it to happen. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but we might lose one of the aspect types. Well, I meant like the redstone block to keep it always on. Okay. I, I know. Yeah. Well, it's just the flux. <laughs> 
Oh, if you break it, it's really bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm not playing break. No. If you turn off the redstone signal, the node will go back to a normal node, and you might lose stuff. There, you happy, Sora? Now I've got two redstones. <laughs> well, ah, T-Love. <laughs> T-Love's got it now. So let's see. This should break down into, like, the base aspect types or something and give us lots of cool stuff. What? There's redstone at that monument I made. Nice. Whoa. Jeez. That's not bad. I was hoping for five of every type, but four of most of these is fine. Five of every type would be one per second on the charging system. This is pretty good. So we should be able to stick this here and stick this here. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. And follow me emboss scepter. Go. That is cool. You know what I say to that? What? Shenanigans. Oh, that is wicked fast. Bell. Not terrible, right? It's not super fast, but it's fast enough for my needs, to be honest with you. If I was being a little bit more crazy about it, I would try and make them all the same number, but meh. Meh? It works. I'm happy. I don't, I don't want to grow that node any more than I already did. So <laughs> next time I do this, I might try for like some crazy numbers. That would be fun. Nice. All right, so we've got a wand recharge system going, Soren. Which I know is really important for you because you do a lot of Thalmcraft. Oh, yeah. So much Thalmcraft? It's right, unheard guys. of how much Thalmcraft. I'm going to let my wands all recharge in here. I wonder if I can, like, automatically recharge wands. That would be kind of cool. Ow. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Let's see. I wonder... <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, guys. I want to test something here. You put a nuke in All right. It. So I'm recording. I was promised an explosion. Right. So I'm going to try to provide something better. It, not a nuke, but it at least will spread more. You can come to the entrance. Yeah, there you go. You're, um, you're not going to hurt our base. Right? I hope not. Okay. <laughs> As he it leaves. shouldn't. Oh, jeez. A little better. Still need yeah. But that he was... has this warded, so... Yeah, so... that was, um... I kind of feel like somebody needs to call Pahamar and let him know that you guys need to learn how to make explosions, because... Well, if you ward everything, you can't blow that up. He didn't ward everything. I only we didn't have that much CNT. That the stuff in there. all this. We didn't have the CT. That basically is Pahamar's setup. Make a center explosion and spread the cross. Yeah, but his is way better than what you just did. Because he has creative mode. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate for you, isn't it? I'm just, go, I'm just going to grab my Sorry, you have you 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 have gunpowder. creative mode. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. You can still you you gunpowder. It's a mob drop. All right, back to me figuring out this way I can figure out what I want to do. I already you. All right, guys, uh, we are back, and I am making a really cool thing. So. I wanted to make this to see if I could figure out a way to get it to work off camera, and now it's working, so I'm going to explain to you how it works. But basically, I made an automated wand recharge system. The way this works is it will always keep the Thaumi embossed Silverwood Scepter, which is the best tool for crafting in the interface here. I found that you can access this inventory from the bottom, and you can interact with what wand is in there. So if you pump a wand into the bottom, it'll go into this slot which is perfect for what I wanted to do. So here's what I've got going. Every one second, we check for the following. Uh, this is where things get confusing, so I'm going to apologize to you guys who don't you know, particularly want to see this, but I'm going to get through this pretty quickly, so hopefully you guys are interested in how I got this to work. You know what? Actually, forget that. I'm going to show you how it works first out here, and then I'll show you how this works. How's that sound? Okay. Um, we have a fully charged thalmium wand and a gold wand here, and nothing is happening. However, if one of these need to be charged, like that, and we put it in the chest, watch what happens. Boom. It's getting charged over there, and you can actually see the beam going in. And then, boom. It charged it up, and it went and switched this one back in. Cool? And the same for the thalmium embossed one, right? Um, if we, you know, drain out some power. Um, it is important that you remove the wand cap. It should steal it, 
charge up the Thaumium embossed wand, and then once it's recharged, it'll swap it back out for the scepter. Ha! How cool is that, huh? Automated wand recharging. All right, so now, how does it work? All right, so the first thing that we do is we work on the gold wand. So everything in this command group is for the gold wand, okay? Everything in this command group is for the Thaumium wand, and this command group is designed to get the um, fully charged wands out of the table and put the Thaumium scepter back into the table, okay? So the gold wand, all we have to do is first we check to see if in the work table there is, and the, the textures are broken, but you can see on the tooltip, a Thaumium Boss Silverwood wand. So if there's another wand being charged, we just get out of this. Like if the other wand's being charged, we're not going to pull it out. The first thing we check for is a fully charged um, Thaumium Silverwood Scepter. And you'll also notice that it's precise detection, which means it does have to be fully charged in order for it to count. So if it's currently charging the Thaumium Scepter, or if there's another wand in there being charged, it doesn't do anything. If there is a fully charged scepter in there, if it's true, then we go down and check if in the chest there is a gold branded Greatwood wand. Okay, and we do MBT independent detection. So the first thing we check is, is there a gold wand at all? And if there is a gold wand, uh, we check to see in the chest if there's a gold banded great wand, precise detection. Um, for this thing, which basically is fully charged. So first we check for whether there's a gold wand at all. Then if there is, we check if it's fully charged. If it's not, then we swap it. Now the reason I check for its existence at all is if I said, hey, is there a, you know, is there a, you know, gold banded greatwood wand in here that's, you know, imprecise, like any kind of charge level, then it would not really work because false would you know, equate if the wand didn't exist, basically. So it's kind of just a good idea to check to see if there's any kind of gold wand first, and then check to see if it's fully charged. And if it's not fully charged, then all we really have to do then is get what's currently in the arcane work table. We make sure it's a Thaumium scepter, precise detection, which it should be because we checked the conditional first, but I'm just being extra certain. Uh, and then we will output it to the chest, and then we input from the chest the gold banded greatwood MBT independent, meaning any charge level can be pulled out. Um, and then the output inventory is to the arcane work table. And again, I told you it was the downside that needs to happen, right? So from there, we have this multi point flow control that basically says, you know, if this didn't work out, or if this didn't work out, or if this conditional didn't work out the way we wanted to, we can exit out of this current group. And then finally, after we've managed to, you know, do what we need to do, we can also exit out of the group. So this is just a way to, you know, regardless of what conditionals come out of, we'll eventually make our way out. Without these things here, for example, if, uh, for example, let's say that um, there wasn't a gold wand in the chest, right? So we're checking here for is there any kind of gold wand in the chest, right? If that false, we would not have proceeded on to the Thaumium wand code without having this line going to this flow control, allowing the exit node to occur, okay? So keep that in mind, that thing was kind of important. So the same exact setup is done for the Thaumium wand. We check whether uh, the scepter's in the inventory of the arcane work table, then we check for a Thaumium wand, make sure it's not fully charged, pull the scepter out of the table into the chest, uh, put the uh, Thaumium wand from the chest into the table, cool? And then finally on export table, all we have to do is say, hey, if uh, grab from the arcane work table from the bottom, either a fully charged gold wand and its precise detection or a fully charged thaumium wand and its precise detection, okay? And then we output that inventory to chest and then we import from the chest to the work table and it's going to be a Thaumium Boss Silverwood Scepter, and I'm saying independent detection. I don't care how well charged the Thaumium Scepter is. It should always be fully charged in the chest, but again, we don't matter. So that's how we do it with Steve's Factory Manager. I'm going to unmute TeamSpeak and then Sounds show reasonable. this all. All right. Guys, I made something cool. What'd you okay. make? Come to my base and I will show you. But I can't. All I, can. I don't see anything fancy. There's No, it's not fancy. Just look at the number of the items yeah. used to the right of the swords. 
Oh, it's like what are you guys doing? Four. Did you blow up Fireball's base properly this time? A little yet, bit or what? more, but no, it, I have a problem with some of the Illuminators blocking the TNT. You are really sorts. having a big problem destroying his base. Yeah, I used the Wither Spawner to send them here. You sent <laughs> Withers okay. to our dimension? Hang on, I'm coming in. No! I need to put TNT blocks. Look in the A system over here, and you'll notice that we have 11k TNT. Why is that a thing that's happening? Just, just hang on. I'll blow it up later. Okay. Plan on rebuilding there. <laughs> well, not long. <laughs> well, Fireball, that's going to be a mistake. Anyway, I want to show you guys the cool thing I made. Okay. Or actually, you'll probably think this is cool. Also and I want to than... just, like, stop Soren's silliness. Hang on. Just come and look at Fireball's base for a second. Oh, okay. I'll destroy it. Are, are you oh, going to mine it? I'm just oh. going to annihilate it. Oh, well, gosh. no, we need to keep oh, some of it because he's actually using some of it. Okay, what am I not allowed to point at? <laughs> this bottom area down here. So all the stuff over here is fine? <laughs> I was like, you made the So everything okay. at my level right now is fine? Yeah, you're oh, good. Gosh. Yeah, you okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, let's see <laughs> What is that? Blood magic? Yeah. Oh, dear goodness. Nice. Oh, my gosh. So I'm at a conflict. I want Fireball! To cool thing, but I can't. Fireball's like, I want to restart, but only a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening now. Yeah. He's restarting, period. Right, that's probably good for now. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, we done. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't TNT! <laughs> yeah, I'm totally going to need to make that mining spell, Rorax. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? I need yeah. that too? My gosh. I need to it's play more of Blood magic. Magic's spell creation system. It's good fun. Okay, it I'm going to just take this over to your guys, AE, and that should be nice. Here, just bring it over to me. <laughs> I'm just going to filter just... everything in my... So, Rorax, come over to my Thumbcraft area and check this um, out. Whatever I am, okay, no. just walking over here. And Soren can show his stream, too, if he wants. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. So much I made an automated wand recharger. It looks very pretty over here, by the way. Thank you. I did this I like all pretty much by myself. Well done. Thank you. What? Well, I mean, like, the Thumbcraft area. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, wait a second. Um, okay, so this is your awesome node here, right? Yeah. It's not that awesome, but it's pretty awesome. So, see the chest there? Yeah. Do you have any um, foci on you from Thumbcraft? I don't, unfortunately. All right, well, I do. So I'm going to use the Thaumium wand, for example. And I'm just going to demonstrate this a little bit. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm here, Rorax. Soren, can you give that to Rorax? Uh, what did I get? Oh. Uh, my inventory is empty. I'm full, I mean, <laughs> empty. Complete reverse. Really? Do you have I don't try I'm again. not trying to. Uh, I don't. We're both what are you guys, like, way? failing I'm so I miserably drop at dropping an item on the ground? It's that magnet! Here, Rorax. I took the magnet off. Alright, put that, put that in the wooden boy. chest and keep an eye on it. Ooh, we need to toggle button for that magnet. Yeah. And it's going to fill up now. Now look back at the chest. Nicely done! Cool. And it puts the scepter back in the that table. That is so cool. Isn't that cool? Hmm. Well done. And it'll do the same with the gold like one, it. too. And there shouldn't so be any yeah, race conditions. any one type, right? What's that? It'll do it for any one type, right? Oh, you have to set the one type. Okay. I, I do have to, unfortunately, cool. per wand, I have to do a lot of commands. I'm going to see if I can't clean up the logic a little bit, but I needed to make it a little bit tricky. I could, I might be able to make it do it per wand type, for any wand type, but I don't think so, because basically I have to detect whether there's a wand there, and then I have to detect that it's not full, and that's hard to do, because I can't, I can't give it like an MBT range. I just have to say right. not this exact one, which is the full wand. So like the first conditional is, is there a gold wand at all of any MBT type? And then the second conditional is, is it not full? Like it's checks for a full one and if false, then pull it out of the chest and put it into the table. Gotcha. Yeah. Poor sheep. I am proud of that. All right, guys, we'll be back. Should be. 
All right, guys. So I think that's a good wrapping up point for this episode. So I, I wasn't planning to spend that much time working on uh, Thongcraft this episode, but I got the wand recharging thing, and I decided let's automate it because I like to automate things. So um, to recap, anytime we you know use this wand for any reason or you know any kind of charge level, um, it will automatically recharge itself. It pulls it out of the chest, puts the Thaumian one in there temporarily, and then swaps it back and puts the scepter back in the charging table i hey am dyer proud of that. yo i heard you uh finished off my house for me i didn't do anything <laughs> be rorax <laughs> that would be all rorax that would be no, I, I was rorax. gonna help oh, soren but no that was rorax. Oh, and rorax no. is like i have these magical powers i have a toy ridiculous i'm gonna um, test it with this <laughs> yeah that's a pretty good job richard de smith oh Oh, All right, guys. For now, now Direwolf20 is signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time. Um, maybe I'll take a look at some of that Blood Magic spell creation stuff and think about making some cool things. All right, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>